place. So we take the lower line off, because that's what we're going to re-thread through here. And we have to make this a sharp point so we can feed it through here. We heat it up. You got a man up here, so you got to squeeze it. Make a nice sharp tip. That's what we want. Now we're going to take this rudder line out through the bottom here. If you don't make a sharp tip, you won't be able to feed it through all these places the way it's supposed to go. Now we're going to take it out of here. And we're going to start feeding it from this line, which is closer to the front. Line still coming up through the left side of the kayak, and eventually it's going to come down the right, just like it was before we started threading it. Now the line won't slide on you anymore when you go to pull it. What thing we got to do is get rid of this key ring. I like to replace these with regular key rings. But at this time we're just going to show you how to do it with this one. Take it through, put it right out. Grab that washer. Right behind you. Grab, just grab the washer. your nylon washer, that's your spacer that goes here on top when you put the rudder on. So now we're just going to put the rudder on here. We need to guide this line back through this hole. That's the right side. So if you notice, the left side going up, came in, out, in, and back out, so it's coming out. The, uh, the right side. Now you don't go over the top. The right side goes straight to the bottom here. It's a little tough way to feed it, but if you made your point sharp, you're going to be able to pass it through here. Sometimes it goes right in. Sometimes it doesn't. This is the trickiest part. Just feeding it back through this hole. Once you get a little tip out, Grab it and feed it through the rest of the way yourself. Good. Now your rudder, top line, pulls it up, bottom line feet from the bottom through here, pulls it down. So let's take this line back up here, put it back where it came from. Remember to put the ball out here, not untying it and retying this a bunch of times. We're going to make a knot on this line. We want to come as close as you can, right about here, you see, with that line, so we know where to make this knot. You'll be able to fine tune this later. 
this knot also serves as the stop for the bottom. Okay, we need more line, we just loosen this up and give it more. That's it. Now, the rudder's down, so now we have to mess with these hook lines so that this knot is in a position here to pull it back up. And this knot is back here, so we can take it down when we want to. So we're going to take some line from the top, from the bottom, feed it back to the top. We'll get some line from the bottom. to the top. I think I may have gotten too much. Doesn't matter. Take it back. Okay, much better. Okay. Put this guy right back where it was. Bottom knot takes it down, it's already down. That's why it's up. This one takes it, brings it back up. Stand back there and show them both of the end. You know your rubber cables will be adjusted here soon. Now we're going to pull this back up. Pull the rudder back up, take the top line, pull the rudder up. Of course, the steering cables aren't hooked up yet. And once they are, you can drop them right where you want to put them. Now we're installing this and then we'll do the, uh, the steering cables. Put the space around there. The wrench. And sit on the floor. And this is the part I hate about these guys. Putting this one back in. It's on. That's ready to go. Next step is we're going to adjust the steering cables. The steering cables leave the rudder all side inside the holder. We're going to come up here. And there's plenty of slack left over here, guys. So. I don't like cutting off any excess yet until whoever fine tunes this. Always oh, start with this thing centered. Don't worry about the pedals. The pedals, you move it, give it more space. Back up. The pedals, by squeezing this, you adjust these later. I'll show you how that works later. For now, put furniture polish on there. It makes them easy. Move around. For now, we need to take up the slack. And we have a lot of slack here. So I'm going to come back here and say this. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to give this one some slack so that they both have about the same amount on each side. Come on back here a minute. One thing I like to do is feed my rudder cables in a straight line. So instead of from the top down the way they come, I like to feed them from the bottom up. Take up some of the slack. Alright, sometimes these tips need to be reburned. 
and I like running it through here twice.